we're going to demonstrate how to terminate RG174 coaxial wire. Take the end of the coax, like such, and using basically uh, generic electrical wiring and cutting tools, uh, take a wire cutter and approximately one inch back from the end, gently, ever so gently, just close the cut, the uh, stripper, just so you pierce the outer PVC and lightly just pull the jacket off, exposing the, the uh, ground braid inside. Then gently uh, using your hand, just bunch up the braid right where the PVC ends, like such. And with a either a very, very small slide screwdriver or an X-Acto knife, separate the woven braids on the overall braid so that you can fold it over and pull the center conductor through. Take your time and uh, don't worry about if you uh, break a few wires in the braid. Then, after you get that pulled through, take your finger and uh, just uh, twist back and forth to remove the outer, or uh, the, um, the uh, outer foil on the center conductor and either pull it off or cut it off with a pair of diagonals. And you'll have it like this. Then you'll take uh, your ground wire and cut that off at about, strip back about one inch, exposing the conductor, and mating it up to the end of the jacket, like this, twist it together with the braided shield, and twist it tightly, as tight as you can get it, because we want to make it uh, reduce its di uh, overall diameter. Fold it back, and you'll see like it has a little hump in it, and we just simply take something like a, a pair of pliers and you're just gonna sort of just crunch, not using them much force, just crunch the, uh, the bend down so it makes putting the ferrule on easier. And you'll see that when we take the ferrule and slide it over the center conductor, um, it easily slides onto the wire all the way down to the first flute on the um, ferrule. Then using your crimping, ferrule crimping tool, open it up put it on the ferrule and completely close it and then let it automatically open and it will have made the, it will have cramped, crimped the, um, the uh, ferrule onto the wire. Then taking your um, diagonals uh, without cutting the coax or the ground wire, just trip, trim off the excess braid. Then pull your ground wire, put a small loop in your ground wire Pull it around to the front and cut it to the approximately the same length as a center conductor. And to prepare the ends, just take your strippers again and strip them back about a quarter inch, exposing the conductor of each. And you have it like that. Now to terminate it on the controller side of the uh, smart level, Bring it into the enclosure and open up the uh, screw uh, terminals on the, on the terminal block that you wish it to go into. Here I'm installing it in channel one. Note that I take the center conductor and put it in channel one and the ground conductor and put it in the ground of, in the ground connection and you'll tighten this. Now, also note that uh, the uh, ground connection is shared by both adjacent channels, so you'll may, you may just want to put in one, and you can either twist the uh, the uh, next uh, channel's wire together, ground wire together with this, or we just push them in separately. It doesn't really matter. Push them in separately, and then uh, tighten accordingly, tighten the screws accordingly to secure the connections electrically in the terminal block. Now to prepare the other side of the wire in the terminal blocks, prepare the ferrule the same, except you may want to, it is suggested that we uh, use about a six inch piece of ground wire. That way when we connect the grounds up um, in the junction box, it'll allow us more room to dress and twist the cables together to make that common ground connection. And of course, to, to, uh, to uh, connect the, uh, the uh, coax to the terminal block, the, uh, the signal center signal conductor will be terminated uh, using this type of uh, crimping tool with a forked spade connector.